Oh, wow. Is that entertaining for you? I'm so glad you're enjoying this. You got little flames going in the corner of your eyes there. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Answer your questions. Stay in your own lane over there. All right, so many of you know my dad by now. have seen him in a few videos. He has some... Uh, he has some big fans out there. I live in Seattle. My parents live in San Diego. So I thought it'd be fun to do my makeup as I FaceTime with my dad and have him answer your guys' questions from Twitter. Let me tell you, you think this man would have all the time in the world right now? He had to pencil me into his busy Zoom schedule. So if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. I'm not gonna be talking through my makeup or anything in this video. So if you wanna know the products I used on my face, I will link everything down below in the description box. All right, let's ring him up. Hi, Father. I'm sitting right now. Oh, okay. You like that angle? I don't know. Do you tell me what <laughs> Hold it like this, Dad. This is my newest edition. Red Bull Helicopter. Wow. Where'd you get that? eBay? They stopped making them seven years ago. I had to pay up the wazoo for it. <laughs> that was one of your questions, Dad. Your favorite pastime. And I'm going to show a picture of that when I do it, so. Okay. Uh, you even wore a button-up. I need my glasses if I need to be. No, no, no. You don't need your glasses. I'm reading the questions. Okay, so I just want to let you know I'm spending my precious time because at 6 o'clock, four of us have a group Zoom <laughs> meeting on, with martinis in hand. I'm honored, Dad. You got it. What was Taylor like as a child? P.S. I hope you are all doing well. <laughs> ah! Taylor was a very timid child. You were a very good student in high school. You were a... Uh, you're very good math, an easy going, you never could tell a major uh, lie. I still can't lie. I know. That's good. That's a good thing. I definitely didn't like, like, performing or anything. Like, I remember dreading, like, musicals and all that stuff. You didn't like being the, the one who is the star. No. Which is good that you're not doing any videos now or <laughs> any audience. <laughs> you're putting up makeup while you're asking me questions. Very good. You remember, yeah. you know, you did sports, you did tennis, you tried out for cheer for about 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I, that lasted a long time. You did your boyfriends going on in high school. I did that. <laughs> yeah, I'll edit that out. <laughs> what was your first reaction when I told you I'm going to be a full-time YouTuber? It didn't really happen like that. No, but but it was a transition. I said, here is my reaction. Go, you need to be around people. You should still be working. I remember this. You still should be working in an office, you need to get out of your place, do YouTube somewhat on the side, and then, you know, work at a business. I never really decided to do it full time until like, like it was never a goal to do it full time. No, just morphed into that. Yeah, were... after working in like an office, I was doing my own freelance consulting stuff. So I was still fully doing YouTube and then kind of doing other work. And then it just kind of got to the point where it didn't make sense to continue financially like doing both and doing the other thing. So I never really like had a conversation. I don't think, I don't remember a conversation with you guys saying like, I'm gonna fully do it. It just, it just, it's just gonna happen. Do it. Your following on YouTube started building and you could do that at home. So you could do that at home with your migraines. You could, you know, work on your own. So it had a lot of advantages for you, fit your lifestyle. And again, I was worried about the social aspect, but you've managed to, between your friends and, uh, boyfriend and girlfriends you've done well okay let's do one about you there's a lot about me here <laughs> one about you hi papa Beirito. what is your favorite pastime that would be radio controlled rc flying here's the rate i'm gonna take my camp can i show them with my camera sure this is a little gizmo there's an airplane there's like another airplane drones up there in airplanes so what about surfing oh so with that comes bike riding up. Gardening, I do our front yard, which is quite a lot. And then I think I fix Oops. things. Another hobby is I'm like a home mechanic. Paint walls, can fix the oh, oven, shit. a toaster. Wait, it just dropped eye drops onto my face. Hold on. Jeez. <laughs> I wish I was filming you right now. What do you mean I'm filming me right now? Are you filming you too? What Dad, you that's what the video is. My normal camera going and my phone camera going. That's why oh, this is I so tricky. This is going to be fantastic. This is a good idea that I gave you. Wow. Okay, next question. Dad, plug your plug your past videos. What, sh what should they watch? You know, a lot of people come up to me and ask me about those when I'm walking around town. You're doing pretty good, by the way. What are the greatest achievements Taylor has ever accomplished that made you so proud of her? Here. 
Are there any? No, I mean, you tailor you going to college, going abroad, the time you snuck into Istanbul and uh, told me you were going with three girlfriends and up there by yourself and <laughs> getting on the wrong boat or something. I was very happy and proud. Okay, I'll just tell you if you start cutting out again. Continue on with my great achievements. Yeah, you like... <laughs> you missed it. I lip synced it. <laughs> and then, of course, when you bought your first place, uh, I was very proud. Mom had a deeper answer to this in our mom tag. Oh, I bet she... Because I'm sure she did. What? Well, Mom's deeper than me. I'm the shallow one. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, ready? This is a two-parter. How do you like Taylor's boyfriend, and what was your first impression of him? <laughs> <laughs> your boyfriend's great. We'll call him... Uh, you can call him B. Boyfriend B. Really good things to say, like him and his family. What was your first impression? That he's a smart, witty kind of guy. No. He was a nice, talkative, good person. And I thought you guys got along tremendously well. And he was very, you know, caring and affectionate towards you. And that I liked. Oh, I know how you're going to answer this one. How do you feel if you guys are out in public and get recognized? <laughs> oh, I love it. Are you kidding me? He actually, he loves it. I love it. I get a phone call right away. Taze, guess what just happened? I get a selfie with me and the person. We were in Oregon traveling, you and I. We were sitting down in a funky restaurant in Florence, actually. That seafood? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. seafood place. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A young couple walked up and she goes, oh, my God, it's the Taylor and his dad. <laughs> I love it. How are you keeping busy during isolation? That, for me, is not hard. Um, I don't dwell on the news every minute. And, uh, I think that's a, a important thing, because I've been doing that, too, and it really, like, starting off your day by not getting super consumed in the news, I think, is super yeah. helpful, and it just makes you start off in, like, a better mood and more positive. Yeah, absolutely. You gotta, you know, you gotta just take it with what's gonna go on. Things will get better, and we're in it while we're in it. Doing tons of things around the house, then I typically will go... Uh, bike riding or, or walk the dog. What about all of your calls? Calls? Yeah, all of your Zoom. Oh, oh, that's a new thing, too. <laughs> so, in the evening, our, our quote, happy hour, we get a little appetizer plate, sit down with one or two other couples, and we Zoom. A bunch of old farts sitting around <laughs> and having a break and Zooming each other. They FaceTimed me wearing matching flannels the other day, and uh, I was their backup. One of their yeah, Zoom meetings got canceled. You got little flames going on the corner of your eyes there. Jeez. Flames? What do you mean? I don't know, it's it's a smoky different. eye. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Answer your questions. Stay in your own lane over there. I think both of us and mom, all of us have like enough hobbies already that we can kind of entertain ourselves. But what would you, what advice would you give people if maybe they don't to well, stay busy or stay in a good mindset and stuff? These are all standard things. Do a puzzle, read a book watch a video occasionally on a YouTube, the Taylor, Taylor Win video. Nice plug. Thank Put you. Plug there. Yeah, I liked uh, that. <laughs> clean your drawers out. Organize the cabinet. I was thinking the other day you could not just like organize your closet, but even plan out outfits and like take photos of them so that once you have to go back to work or once you're able to like leave the house and stuff that you, you don't even have to spend time finding outfits. You already like know what to wear. Also, I would say catch up with people you haven't talked to in a long time. Oh. I think that's one of the positives of all of this, being more connected with people. I gotta fix my hair. Yeah, you fix that. No, that's a very good point. And you know what, Taylor, like, through your videos, same kind of thing, you feel like you're with that person. How did you and Mama B meet? I all started with my neighbor said there was a cute girl who worked at the pizza place, had a date, and I took her to the pizza place. Wow, you took her to where she worked? What a great date. I took another date to the <laughs> Even better. Wow, that's such a that's such a bold move, Dad. Place to check out. Mom. mom. She ended up being our waitress. They said she had a boyfriend at the time, and I said, "Well, if anything ever happens, you know, let me know." And sure enough, six months later, your mom broke up with her boyfriend and was out with the girls one night. She said, "Oh, well, you know, this guy Randy wants to meet you," and she said, "Okay," and that was it. And then you did long distance for a little bit, for like a year. Yeah, and then. During the summer, I said, you've got to come live where I live and stay with me. If not, I'll become a bartender at the beach. <laughs> what do you mean? And, like, meet other I girls? I to be a bartender. I you did? To, yeah, so I was going to work at the beach for free, but it would have been kind of weird seeing all my patients. I could totally see you as a bartender. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> I'd be doing the Tom Cruise thing, Taylor, look, shaking it, flipping it with the... 
<laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure. Hold on, I need some eyeliner up in here. Oh, you got the glasses. We're good. Well, I'm taking them Where were we? What were we talking about? I forgot. Isolation or mom? No. Oh, how you and mom met? Tom Cruise. How long total before you proposed to her? Uh, I think I knew her for three years altogether. Two and a half, three years. Where the heck That's is my it. eyeliner? You were looking for that before the break. I know. I'm still looking for it. Favorite drink for a 5 p.m. on a Friday? Yeah, go Shane for it. Barry. This is your moment. You've been yeah. waiting your whole life to tell exactly how you like your martini. No vermouth, kettle one or gray goose, and shake it a long time. There's little ice chips called... Ducks on the pond. Ducks on the pond. Hey, Dad. <laughs> when did you find out about Taylor's success on YouTube? How did you feel about it? We uh, talk every day, so, so that wasn't like, well, uh, you answer. It really was fun watching your numbers go, and I don't mean your income, but your viewership. And that was really fun. And one month and three months later, then six months later. It was over two, three, four years. Two, three, four. Dad, I've been doing this for eight. It wasn't like a one day where I like told oh, no. I mean it's not an instant thing it takes time yeah and you, did, you know how many thousands of videos okay I can't find it but someone else asked um what did you think when I first started doing YouTube well be honest <laughs> no, I didn't even know what YouTube was when you started yeah. doing YouTube I was going okay whatever is that her little hobby and then I started using it to fix my washing machine I forgot the question say it again what did you think <laughs> of when I first started yeah I was like Okay, whatever. They didn't get it at all. Like, no one did. Yeah. When I first started, though, it was, like, such a weird thing to be doing. Yeah. I started my sophomore year of college, so, like, when I would come home for summer, I would film in their front room in the house. They just had no idea what I was doing in there. And then the whole summer, I remember before Jordan, I film, pre-filmed, like, a year's worth of videos in yeah. that room. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is that entertaining for you? So glad you're enjoying this. Need a nap over there? Nap number two? I'm putting my lower ma bottom mascara on so you can't. I can't laugh for a minute while this dries. Okay, I'll try not to make you laugh. Yeah. Next time I think you should have, you should ask your uh, followers to submit questions and then you Dad, ask me those. Dad, that's what this is. They submitted these questions? Yes. Oh, Taylor, you didn't tell me that. I thought you made these up. No, that's why I'm reading off how did you and Mama be and hey, Dad. Oh, God. You need to open up those ears over there. You better get the wax taken out of my ears. Yeah, I better. If you would explain that at the beginning, I would have known. I am pretty sure I explained that. It's on video. Yeah, it's on video. People want to know what your favorite TV show is and what your favorite food is. <laughs> I'll tell you, the favorite food is absolutely... Where do you think Papa Burrito came from? Um, I love Mexican food burritos. With me. Yeah, we're both. Burritos are number one for both of us, I think. Dad, what color lipstick should I do? Let me see your lips. Red, like a peachy or like a lighter nude? A lighter nude. Now, what was the other part of the question? What's your favorite show, TV show? We love Billions, Ozarks. What's that one it's with the I lawyer love. show that's really good where each season is a different... Goliath? Oh, yeah, Goliath. Oh, great, great. Last question. Are you ready? Oh, I, yes. How do you raise the most awesome human in the world? <laughs> <laughs> no, your mom and I are very proud of you. We just, ex we, we tried exposing you to things. Oh, you're taking this question seriously. I thought it was going to be a joke. No, no. Okay, I'm continue. Very proud of the way you came out, and I think it is the way we raised you. I mean, it, it's like a cause and effect. I think you guys were strict, but not overboard like strict but fun and i always felt like i could talk to you both about everything yeah we kept the channels open yeah i'm gonna do that when i have kids because i think that's one of the most important things you know like 10 11 12 i go taylor if there's ever anything you want to talk about you know you can talk to me about it yeah and, and you know and a lot of times you did i i don't think we were strict with you i thought we were mom was mom was stricter than you no, i think she's strict with me <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. Any last words? I said it all. Okay. Bye. Bye. I love you. Love you. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope that you could hear my dad okay. I can tell I'm going to have to do a lot in editing for this video <laughs> as far as like adjusting everything. So hopefully it turns out okay. But I am going to tell you really quickly what's on the rest of my, what I used on my face because I didn't tell you anything. So I tried the Max Factor pan stick because I reviewed this a long time ago, like a long time ago. I think it was right when I started Accutane or maybe even before. I used the shade 12 True Beige 
and it doesn't look quite as good as it used to look on my skin. It's definitely looking like pretty cakey and I'm already creasing. Not even what, like an hour in. I think that th whole thing was about an hour long. It's already looking like pretty cakey and my pores look super emphasized. So I think consensus on that one now on my skin, my dry skin, is that I don't like it, but I used to really like this when I had oily skin. It looks good on my skin. Concealer, I tried this again because I've just been trying to like figure out my thoughts on it. It's the Maybelline Superstay. Mm, I don't know. I just don't love this one. I just have ones that I like more. Set it with Laura Mercier. And then this is the 20 CP Urban Decay, the Naked Fix Powder. This is what I set my face with. For highlight, I used Ofra Glazed Donut. Modern Renaissance Anast Anastasia is what I used for my eyeshadow. For liner, I tried this Holika Holika brush liner. I've been loving this lip liner. This is Koki warm nude. I think it's a new color from them. And then this is an old J-Cat hydrating lip stain. On this one, I did my lip declutter video. And this is definitely, uh, yeah, I think it needs to be thrown out. It smells like paint. Whoa, it smells really intense. It used to smell really good in minty, so I'm pretty sure that's expired. I don't see a shade on here. Mascara, Monster Big, Lancome, Essence, bronzing powder. I've been loving this for bronzer. Just going with that shade. Catch my vibe blush. And I think that's everything I used, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see any other videos I've done with my dad, I'll link them down below. We have, I feel like we have like five or six at this point. So I'll link a few of those down below, but I will have all the makeup on my face today linked down below in the description box. Leave any comments for Papa Bayrito down below. He does read comments. So tell him hello down below. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.